Bear Knock and my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our words are going to come from the book of Esther, chapter 4. And if those of you who are familiar with the book of Esther, hopefully that you won't mind this little bit of recount here of what's going on. But you'll remember basically what has happened is that uh, Haman is a wicked man who desires to destroy the Jews. And I'm going to go through how we get to Haman and why he is such a wicked man. But Haman desires to, to, to uh, destroy the Jews. And, uh, and the king has basically issued a decree to be able to do so or he's, and, uh, on a certain day and, and uh, under Haman's uh, counsel and direction. And so now Queen Esther, who is a Jew herself, and um, of course um, uh, her, her uncle Mordecai, who had raised her, are now uh, trying to intercede. And Mordecai has been reaching out to Esther like, hey, you need to intercede for your people. I mean, do you think you're going to escape the sword too? And so finally, Esther uh, says, okay, this is the deal. I understand what's happening. I will. I'll go to the king, which was outside of the rules, the laws, the customs. And, uh, but look what, I want you to listen to this one uh, statement here that she has to say in uh, verse 15 and uh, verse fifteen and 16 of, of Esther chapter 4 as an instruction for us today. It says, then Esther bade them return, uh, return Mordecai this answer. So basically she goes, go tell my uncle this right? Says, this is what she says to do. Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Sushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. Verse 17 says, so Mordecai, I, Mordecai went his way and did all that Queen Esther told him to do. But what is interesting about this is the heart of this servant of God. I want you to really listen to this heart of this woman. She says, okay, I see what I need to do, and I will do it. And if I perish, I perish. But pray for me. Fast for me. Think of me. Get the people to be praying for me. Get the people to be fasting for me. Be, be on my side. Enlist the Lord's support for me. And whatever God should choose for me, God chooses for me. And that I'm okay with. I think we would live a lot different life if we could come to this heart like Queen Esther did, which is, I'm going to step out in faith, knowing I'm probably going against what the norms would be or what most people would tell me to do. But if I have God's people praying for me, and I have God on my side, then if God should choose to allow me to perish, then I perish. But if not, then praise be to God. Well, praise be to God either way, but you understand what I'm saying. So hopefully for today, just to think about that, right? Step out with that faith that says, if I perish, I perish. And trust to see and see God's hand work in your life and the life of those around you. So good crazy day. As always, remember that I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.